Hello and welcome to Rathod's IS. Today in this session, we are going to see current fights of 17th February 2024. So without wasting any time, let us see today's Hindu PDF. And we are going to pick out the articles which are relevant from our examination point of view. So today is Saturday. There is no text and context. There is no opinion page. So we are going to complete this analysis within 40 minutes of time. Okay, and even there are very less articles which are relevant from our examination point of view. So don't waste much time in reading irrelevant articles because prelims is very near, already you are facing time constraints, right? So try to complete this newspaper within 50 to 1 hour, 50 minutes to 1 hour time. Okay, not more than this for today. Yes, so let us see first important topic in this front page. So there is one important article, it is talking about motion of confidence, Kejriwal moves motion of confidence in assembly. So we are not going to talk about which government, which state government, so that is not at all important. Yes, we are focusing on this key word that is motion of confidence, confidence or like no confidence motion. So now let us see some dimensions. So here we have to see this topic called as no confidence motion. So this is very important. So you will be reading this topic in chapter called as parliament. So in this parliament topic, so we are going to study about different motions. So one such a very important motion that you have to know is no confidence motion. So what are the dimensions you can think? So first one here is you have to understand what is this no confidence motion. So which article which is talking about this no confidence motion or whether this confidence and no confidence motion present in our constitution or not and in which house we can move this in which house okay that means either in Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha in case of parliament or like a legislative council and uh, that is assembly so in which area we can focus on that and what is the outcome so or else like you have to think what happens when this no confidence motion is passed so all these are very important dimensions and this article is important from GS paper 2 under quality. So you can get directly prelims based question from this parliamentary motions and especially from this no confidence motion you can expect mains based question because always every year at least 3 to 4 times we can see this no confidence motion which is seen in use. So there is a high chance of getting mains based question regarding this no confidence motion. And now let us see this topic in detail and we are also going to see our today's quote. So today I came up with a very interesting quote. Yes, I hope you can see it, right? Yes, never hope for it more than you work for it. Yes, it is very much relevant from our UPSC preparation point of view. And even exam is very much near. I thought that why I can't why why I can't give this quote today. Yes, actually many students, some students they are very studious, very serious, and before examination, at least two to three months of time, they will be studying more than twelve hours. And some students they are not much studious, they are not much serious, so they will be spending very less time in preparation. And even though if you are spending less time here, so when you are expecting more for the work you are doing, it is not correct. So always expect something, okay, only for the work you did. Okay, so you should not, and you should never hope for more than what you are doing. Okay, so this is very relevant quote. So that at least some of you will be motivated, yes or no, and you will be becoming serious and studious candidate and you will start preparing more than 10 hours per day from now at least from now because prelims is very very near and day by day prelims is becoming hard 
So to crack these prelims, it is becoming a challenge. So focus on revision, focus on taking as many tests as possible and try to practice previous questions so that you can understand the format of questions. Clear? So this is our today's quote and the first topic of the day is about this motion of confidence or no confidence motion. So the present context here is Delhi Chief Minister that is Arvind K. J. Wall more a motion to seek a vote of confidence in assembly. So we are going to see about this no confidence motion. So we are having this parliamentary form of democracy. Yes or no? So we are talking about the systems of government. We have two types. So first one is presidential form. And next one is parliamentary form. So we have presidential form of democracy and as well as parliamentary form. And for example, UK and India, they adopted this parliamentary form of democracy. And in this parliamentary form of democracy, government can be in power only whenever it is getting the majority. Okay, majority support in the directly elected house. So even if you see some articles like Article 75, so class 3 of our constitution, which is mainly saying that council of ministers, they are collectively responsible to Lok Sabha. It is very important. Okay, council of members, okay, sorry, council of ministers, COM, they are collectively responsible to Lok Sabha. According to which article? That is Article 75, subclass 3 of our constitution. And for testing of this collective responsibility, so in Lok Sabha rules, they are talking about a mechanism that is a motion of no confidence to see that whether they are having the majority support in the house or not. So we have to test them. So for that test, we have this motion of no confidence. And the procedure for this passing of this motion of no confidence, which is present under Rule 198 of Lok Sabha. And one important point here is in our constitution, there is no where it is written about confidence or no confidence motion. But it is present in rule 198 of Lok Sabha. So this is very important prelims fact. And who can move a no confidence motion? Like any Lok Sabha MP who can garner the support of 50 colleagues. At any point of time, they can introduce a motion of no confidence against this council of minister. So what happens whenever it is passed? So whenever this no confidence motion is passed, so this council of ministers, okay, who is headed by prime minister at the central level and state council of ministers who is, who is headed by chief minister, so they have to resign and new government will be forming once if this no confidence motion is passed. So a no confidence motion can be moved only in Lok Sabha and it cannot be moved in Rajya Sabha. It is also a very important point. Okay, so this is about this topic in detail. And now let's go back to our paper. And you can see this is very, very interesting image. And you can see they are carrying some grass, right? So it is nothing but broom grass. So normally we are using the broom sticks in our home to clean our floors, right? So this is that grass. It is called as broom grass. So this is very important and especially from environment and ecology point of view, you will be getting this type of questions like if, if there is any species which is seen in use, either plant species or animal species. Yes, you have to know some facts regarding this broom grass. So let us see those facts. So this article is important from your environment and ecology. Okay. So here Kirby analog district of Assam. It is a leading producer of broom grass in India. Okay, commonly it is called as jaru. And this jaru which is providing local economy since many years. So especially this Karvi analog district is dependent on this jaru. which is also called as broom grass for their local economy. And if you see the scientific name of this grass, the scientific name is Tassanolina Maxima. It is scientific name. And this broom grass, which has been emerged as a mostly widely cultivated cash crop, it is not a 
like food crop it is a cash crops especially in some hilly states it is grown and it is commonly called as jaru so it is grown in the zoom fallow season by the people so especially some tribal people they are involved in this cultivation of this broom grass for example we have tiva karbi and kasi communities okay and the fluorescence of the flowers of this plant okay that is mainly used for making of this broom sticks and even it also provides fuel and fodder during the lean period and actually this karbi analog district which is a one of the largest producer of the brooms in india and actually if you're talking about cultivation of this broom grass it is very easy and even it requires only small financial inputs unlike the other crops like rice wheat etc and it can be grown on marginal lands and even waste lands in the zoom fallow land and especially here broom grass cultivation which is having a great potential of generating local employment and whenever it is created in the local employment that will also helpful for getting of the rural income to enhance the rural income and even this broom grass constitutes a major source of income for assamese families in the businesses okay so these are the some important facts regarding this broom grass clear any doubt so far no right and if you if you are understanding like what to read and what not to read and how to read and how to prepare for examination and if you understand the dimensions please hit the like button so it is the only one request from my side okay so please hit the like button so that it will be encouraging me and to come up with a much more interesting and knowledgeable content for you yes now let us move back to the newspaper again so that's all in this first page these are the two articles which are very relevant and in the city page i found nothing much important yes you can see this article city saws 2.5 percentage dip in heinous crimes in 2023 so delhi police commissioner he said that national capital had witnessed a dip that is decrease dip is nothing but decrease of 2.5 percentage in cases of heinous crimes in 2023 so one interview question that you can expect is if you are staying in delhi so they will be asking like so whether the place of uh, place delhi is safe for women or not and always you will be getting question like what are the crimes that or uh, that you came into notice in delhi okay so how can we improve women safety in delhi so these are the commonly asked interview questions if you are saying that your place is from delhi so you have to know the details regarding what are the crime rate and you have to see what are the crimes heinous crimes against women and as well as children and even what are the problems you are facing by this delhi city so all these are very very important and try to make a note and be prepared with that and if you move on you will go to the state page and the state page the most of the articles are political articles so there is no need of going through this political articles yes here you can see one interesting article despite nature's fury himachal's gdp to see growth at 7.1% So you know that Himachal Pradesh is one of the hill states, and recently here because of environmental change or climate change, yes, lots and lots of disasters which are faced by this Himachal Pradesh. So now let us see this article in detail. So this article is talking about growth of Himachal Pradesh. So as you all know that Himachal Pradesh it is Himalayan state or we can say it is hilly state 
So due to climate change, so lots and lots of disasters are seen in this Himachal Pradesh recently, like floods and sinking of Joshimath. Okay, so sinking of Joshimath, which is related to this Himalayan, one of the Himalayan state. And next one is dam collapse. Dams collapse and a cloud burst. Next one is flash floods. Etc. So these are the normally the problems you have seen in this Himachal Pradesh. So now let us see the article what it is talking about. So even as rentless monsoon in Himachal Pradesh, which brought this hilly state to its knees this year, causing immense damage to life and as well as property. So even though the growth which is seen like 7.1 percentage. So the state economic survey which has been presented by the chief minister during this ongoing budget session of Himachal Pradesh. And they said that because of this unprecedented rain and flash floods in monsoon months of 2023, the state government has strived to put untiring efforts and to make strategic uh, initiatives to ensure economic growth and as well as overall development of the state. So, if we are talking about the potential of this Himachal Pradesh, it is getting more potential from this hydroelectricity. Right? So, large number of hydroelectricity resources, they are present in this Himachal Pradesh and the survey which said that the state has about 25 percentage of national potential, okay? And it is producing this hydroelectricity of about 209 megawatts. So, in this way here, we can say like Himachal Pradesh is very, very important for India, especially to secure energy security. Okay, now let us move on to next topic. You can move on to this states page. So here also I found nothing much important. So most of the articles are political articles. Yes, now you can see one article like in yesterday's class we discussed about man-animal conflict or human-animal conflict. It is increasing day by day. Yes or no? So here High Court of Kerala is saying to come up with a policy and this policy needs to manage man-animal conflict. So here the context says that Kerala High Court asked the state government to think about formulating comprehensive policy uh, to deal with this man-animal conflict in the state and to come up with a comprehensive plan for the management of man-animal conflict and even it said that what are the permissions that we are taking, like what are the steps we are going to take that should according to this World Life Protection Act. Okay, so this is the thing which mainly said and please let me know what are the reasons for this human animal conflict. We don't forget to give the reasons. It is very, very important. And now let us move on to this editorial page directly and most of the articles that are we already discussed. So, this article it is about EFTA that is European Free Trade Association. So, this article is talking about data insufficiency. So, already we discussed about this topic in yesterday's class and once again we are going to see this topic. And next topic it is about Pakistan elections and we are not going to bother about that. And here you can see this article it is about no two electoral bonds. And in today's class, we have been discussed that very, very detailedly so that you can go to the today's class and you can watch if you have not watched this today's class. And next important topic is from your news page. Okay, it is talking about Yes, it is talking about torpedoes, free flare, reef uh, fueler aircraft in new deals cleared by DAC. So, especially you have to focus on this DAC that is Defense Acquisition Council. So, what is that? So, what is the role of this DAC? And when we came up with this DAC, all these are very, very important things that you have to know. 
and now let us see the notes part Yes, this article is talking about brave new world. It is talking about EFTA. So now let us see this topic in detail. And already in yesterday's class also we discussed this topic. And again, once again, let us see this. So India has rejected the demand of four nation European Free Trade Association. So in this European Free Trade Association, we have only four countries or the members. And they are talking about data exclusivity. And regarding this data exclusivity, India doesn't accept this. So, what is this European Free Trade Association? So, it is intergovernmental organization. And when it was formed in year 1960 by Stockholm Convention. And the important objective of this is to promote free trade and economic integration between its members within Europe and globally. Okay, so it also promotes a free trade and economic integration between its members with Europe and as and globally. And if you are talking about which of those four countries part of this EFTA, that is Iceland, Liechtenstein, Norway, and Switzerland. So these are the four important countries. And if you are talking about the members of this organization, they are all open. And the competitive economy is committed to the progressive liberalization of trade in the multinational arena and even in this free trade agreements also. So in contrast to European Union, so this EFT it is not a custom union. Okay, that is the thing that you have to keep in your mind. It is not a customs union. And if you see what is the concern of India, so data exclusivity provisions that will bar generic drugs producers from using the data of this preclinical test and clinical trials for the former patent holders. Okay, so whatever the data which is having by this patent holders, so that data that cannot be used by other pharmaceutical companies. Okay, that is the concept of data exclusivity. So because of this data exclusivity, so there is a lot of problem like we cannot come up with the production of generic drugs. So here the production of generic drugs into market will be delayed by 5 to 12 years of time. So in this time here, so these patent companies, so they will be getting lots and lots of profits. Okay, clear? So this is about this topic. And next topic it is about torpedoes, refueler aircrafts in new deals clear by DAC. And we are going to see this topic. So here, the Defense Acquisition Council, that is DAC, accorded accept of necessity. Acceptance of necessity means nothing but, so it is a letter which is saying that, yes, we require these and these equipment. For these and these forces, like for Army, we need this equipment. And for Navy, we need this equipment. And for different, uh, for Air Force, we, we need this type of equipment. So this is called as acceptance of necessity. And this acceptance of necessity it is a first step in this procurement process. So first they have to accept like, so what is the requirement? And once they accept it, they will be going to the companies and they will be talking, right, to get the equipment. So here, yes, we came with this first step that is acceptance of necessity regarding this torpedoes, refuel, aircrafts, etc. And these proposals, they include some long pending deals. For example, heavyweight torpedoes and Navy Scorpion class submarines and flight refueler aircraft for Indian Air Force. Okay, so for Indian Air Force, they need some requirements like long, uh, like we need heavy weight torpedoes and Scorpion class submarines, refueler aircraft, etc. And even other major deals they also came up like uh, multi mission maritime aircraft for the Navy and as well as Coast Guard, and even new generation anti tank mi mi missiles. Okay, it is not mines, it is missiles. And next one is air defense tactical control radar and even software defined radios. So all these equipments that we need and these are the some major deals now. So if you see some facts regarding this DAC, so DAC it is the highest decision making body. Okay, DAC is highest decision making body in defense ministry. So in defense ministry we have highest decision making body that is nothing but DAC. And DAC will be deciding authority on new policies 
and as well as capital acquisitions for the three services like army navy and air force and also for the indian coast guard so dac is the highest decision making body and the minister of defense is the chairman of the council okay minister of defense is the chairman of the council and dac was formed after the group of ministers recommendations mainly made on reforming the national security system okay so they are coming up with some recommendations on reforming national security system in 2001 and after this uh, kargil war of 1999 so we came up with this dac that is defense acquisition council clear so these are the some important facts that you have to remember from this article point of view and these are the very important articles that appeared in our hindu newspaper today okay so there is nothing much to explain so i don't want to waste your time also by discussing the other irrelevant articles and now let us have a look of our paper and let us search if there are any other articles which are important from our examination point of view or not yes there is one article that is use chabahar port india tell central asian countries so we have central asian countries like uzbekistan kazakhstan kyrgyzstan right so here now this article is talking about chabahar port so now let us try to understand the importance of chabahar port so let us try to draw the map okay so this is india just i'm drawing a schematic diagram so don't say like this map is apt okay so this is pakistan this is iran okay and here we have some central asian countries okay so this part okay so this is the central asian countries so actually if you want to move towards afghanistan so we are not allowed to use the air space of pakistan so what we are doing is we are using the chabahar port so in iran we have chabahar port and we are using this port to reach afghanistan Pakistan is not allowing us to use this air space of Pakistan. Okay, and here in Pakistan we have one another port that is called as Gwadar port. So to counter this Gwadar port, we are coming up with development of this Chabahar port in Iran. It is very very important for India, especially Chabahar port. So now, if you move on to this article, it says that. So India is urging Central Asian countries to use this Chabahar port, which is located in the southeast coast of Iran. So this will be helpful for enhancing that is improving of connectivity and trade with India and other countries in the world. So India is participating in six regional dialogue of secretaries of Security Councils and National Security Advisers on Afghanistan, and in this context, they talked about this importance of this. Chabahar port and during this interaction here delegates from Iran Russia Kyrgyzstan Kazakhstan Turkmenistan so they also participated and they said that they want to utilize the Chabahar port and as well as Sahid Bahesti terminal at the port for maritime trade with India so if you want to come with the trade yes we need to use this uh, ports especially it comes under the waterways so here they also have the discussions on like how to uh, track this terrorism and how to track uh, how to focus on this drug trafficking etc these are some important challenges they talked about okay so these are some important things that are mainly said in this meet so especially especially here they are focusing on some immediate priorities like using of this chabahar port and they also said that we have to combat terrorism and we have to fight against drug trafficking and we have to focus on the rights of women as well as children and minorities so these are the some important points or the immediate priorities of india and as well as other middle uh, central asian countries okay so this is about this topic and in this world page 
most of the articles are repeated articles and in this business page you can see one important article that is about apparel industry so bangladesh apparel exports via delhi hits indian shipments this article is also very important from your economy point of view which comes in a gs paper 3 so this article says that apparel exports had been decreased that is exports from india decreased by 3.6 percentage and even we are facing more and more challenges because bangladesh apparels they are moving the um, bangladesh apparels are moving through delhi okay so because of this it is affecting indian industries indian apparel industry so this is the thing which mainly said so here you have to know about the exports of apparels and what is the contribution of this apparel industry to our economy so this is very very important and these are the important articles that appeared in our today's hindu newspaper so that's all nothing more nothing less and now i want to show like where you can get the notes of this class so this is rathod's is classes telegram channel so do join this channel so that you will be getting the updates of my classes and as well as the notes of the classes here and we are also coming up with offline branch in hyderabad in ashok nagar so that uh, we are trying to provide as many videos as possible so once office gets started so that will be starting by this week so you will be getting lots and lots of videos on this uh, youtube channel so not only hindu analysis but even you will be getting uh, your polity regarding videos history economy science and technology and also updated videos of uh, current affairs so everything will be there on youtube so to get uh, knowledge regarding those topics and those subjects do subscribe to rathor's is academy so don't forget to subscribe so this is the rathor's is academy uh, youtube channel so do subscribe to this channel and this is our website rathor's is academy website and prelims is very much near so many students they might have facing problem with remembering the facts understanding the concepts right for example the subjects like history and as well as economy geography etc so to clear those concepts you can take the courses that we are offering in our website okay so if you want to watch the demo videos you can click on play codes and you can watch three demo videos which is a free of cost yes which is a free of cost and after that only if you like that then you can click on buy now and you can purchase the course and i want to say one thing here is the cost of this course is very very limited very very less it will be even less than 3000 rupees okay so it is very much affordable and you can buy these courses so that there will be the high chance of clearing your prelims so don't take the chance so if you are not passing now again you have to sit for one year and you have to prepare from first so rather than that you can take these courses which are very affordable okay and if you want to talk to me directly regarding the foundational codes or regarding main science writing practice or regarding any codes you can call me on this number 8074765513 and even this is whatsapp number you can text me on whatsapp also so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this class and please do like and share this video and do subscribe to rathor's is academy and one more thing here is Stay tuned and we are going to meet tomorrow in another class. Thank you so much for watching.